Well, hello and welcome to Tuesday Tips Live here with me, Phil. And we are not in the Digital DJ Tips studio as usual. I'm actually in my hotel room in the Tropicana here in Las Vegas. And the reason I'm here is that I'm at the Mobile Beat Conference, which is a big DJ show here in uh, West Coast USA. So today's Tuesday Tips Live is all about why it's good for DJs to attend shows like this. So I'm going to discuss five big reasons why if you are in this game, it's definitely worth your while seeking out a DJ show that you can attend uh, and, uh, and get yourself out of your bedroom, out of your studio, away from the clubs, away from what you normally do, and into an environment like this. So we're going to be talking about that today. So firstly, I'd like to say hello and welcome to everyone who's not been on a Tuesday Tips Live before. As I say, this one's a bit different, but basically, Digital DJ Tips is the biggest online DJ school in the world. He says, looking around for the book, I normally have a book as a prop to hold up here, but being in a... Uh, there it is. This is our manual of how to DJ, which is a best-selling Amazon book, but also uh, we teach this stuff online. We have got 21,000 students online. So our job is to help you become better DJs and better DJ promoters. And Tuesday Tips Live is one of the things that we like to do every week, just to share some tips, share some experience, and share some wisdom with you live. And you get a chance to ask questions, say hello, and so on. So please uh, do that. Please say hello. Please use the comments below to, uh, to say where you are, what you're up to. I'll give you a shout out. Uh, and also, if you're watching this on the replay, you probably missed it going live. And the reason you missed it going live is you're not subscribed to this channel. So there is a button uh, which lets you uh, like and follow this channel on Facebook and click that and also click the, the option that says show these posts first, which means that you'll always know when we're live and we can, uh, we can get you involved here. Uh, so let's move on with it. We're talking about DJ shows. We're talking about why it's important to attend DJ shows. So it's eight in the morning Pacific time here in Las Vegas. Um, I traveled for 26 hours. I got up at five in the morning in uh, Gibraltar where Digital DJ Tips is based and had a, a grueling 26 hour journey to get here. Uh, um, it's, uh, as I say, it's 8 a.m. here now. I've already been up for three hours. Uh, my body thinks it's 5 p.m. And I've got another 18 hours on my feet uh, on the show floor, in conferences, networking, uh, education events, the expo, and so on. Why would anyone do that? It, you know, why would someone put themselves through that? Well, there's, I'm absolutely uh, stoked to be here, and it's an amazing thing to do. So if I can do it across that kind of time zone, trust me, if there's a DJ show in your country, you can do it too. Uh, and it is definitely, definitely worthwhile. So that's what we're covering today, why this is worthwhile. So, okay. Why is it worth coming to DJ shows? What's the point? Why not just, you know, follow a website like Digital DJ Tips, sign up to a training course or two, practice in your bedroom, and go and play your DJ gigs? Why, why, why go to the expense uh, and put time into your calendar to come somewhere like this and mess up your body clock and all that, if, if that's what you have to do? Well, there's a few reasons. Now, the number one reason is to meet other DJs. It might sound silly, but how many times do you actually get to hang out with other DJs in your DJing life? Being able to meet other DJs is an awesome thing for all kinds of reasons. It means that you realize you're not alone in the way you think, the way you approach your DJing, the problems that you have, the triumphs you have, the things that you, you struggle with. You're not alone. You suddenly realize that there's loads and loads of other people just like you. If you think every other DJ in the world is your competition, you're going to very quickly realize that every other DJ in your world is actually a potential friend and partner and colleague and someone you can share with and someone you can enjoy this journey with. For all those reasons, going to a show is such a good idea. Uh, so, you know, because of Digital DJ Tips, pretty much everyone here knows me uh, and that's a nice feeling, but everyone knows everyone else as well. It's a small world, especially if you go to a DJ show in your city or your state or your county or your country, it's a small world and you'll suddenly realize that you're not very far removed from pretty much everyone in that show. And it's a lovely feeling to know that you belong to something. So just, if nothing else, if there's no expo, if there's no education events, if nothing else, just meeting other DJs is a massively important thing that goes on at these shows. And I, <clears throat> I thoroughly recommend you do it. I mean, for instance, down there on the show floor yesterday, I saw um, a couple of DJs who turned out, it turned out they were from the same town or same city. They didn't realize it. They didn't know each other. And it turned out the same person owed them money. <laughs> so they both, they're both like, right, well, if you, if you all do it, I'll do it. Right, okay, let's do it. And they got on the phone and said, there and then, oi, where's that money you owe us? And just, you know, to see things like that happening at a show is awesome. And 
things like that will happen to you if you come to a show. You'll meet people you didn't know were in your, in your market, in your city, in your town, and you will share woes and you'll share triumphs and you'll, you'll, you'll make decisions and you'll do stuff. You might say, all right, well, why don't we do that? Why don't we hook up and play music together? And things happen at shows because you meet other DJs. So that's reason number one. If you're just joining us, we're talking about why it's a good idea to go to DJ shows. And I'm um, in Las Vegas here um, at, the, at the Tropicana LV at the Mobile Beat Las Vegas show right now, which is why I thought it'd be a good thing to talk about. So before we move on to point number two, I want to just say a few early hellos. By the way, we're only on Facebook today because of hotel internet and various technical issues. This is only on Facebook today. So um, just so you know, we won't be flipping over to give, uh, give some love to our YouTube channel because we ain't live on the YouTube channel. Okay, so hi to Mark, hi to Ali, hi to Kevin, hi to DJ Bla Blazon, hi to, um, to my team, hi to Lauren and Neil and uh, to Scott. Nice to have you here, Neil. I uh, hope you're having a good time back there in the UK. We've been chatting about you to people here this week. Hi to Howell Pugh. Um, hi to, um, um, I can't pronounce that Portuguese surname, John. I know it's John in, in English, sorry. Uh, in, uh, in Brazil, anyway. Uh, hi to uh, Franklin Philip, who's in New York. Welcome, Franklin. Uh, hello to, um, to Armando Tay, who's in um, the Philippines. Hi to Will in Seattle. To Casey, who says, uh, what a coincidence. I just got off my decks. Awesome. Good timing. Uh, hi to Mark. Hi to Marcus, who's in Austria, who says, I'd love to be in Las Vegas. Uh, Alwyn says, how does a person become a top fan of this site? I think you just lean in a bit and comment on a few things. I think it just happens, Alwyn. Um, Patrick says, good morning to you. Would you like to book me for your trade show? Uh, well, it's not my trade show, so um, so um, I'd love to, but uh, no, Pat. Um, Ali says, face-to-face um, -face connections and seeing and touching gear live is a really important part of these kinds of things. Um, so, um, so Mark says, new toys. Yes, new toys. The actual show floor here at Mobile B only opens today. This is the second day, but the first day is all about education. So today at about 2 p.m., I think they're opening the show floor, and we're going to be rushing in there and having fun with all the gear. Um, so, um, um, so okay, Thor says, um, oh, I'm not sure what Thor's saying there. Um, so, um, uh, hi to John and Avinav and Rudy. Uh, and okay, let's move on. We're talking about reasons to come to a trade show. We've already covered, or, or to a DJ show, we've already covered number one, which is you get to meet other DJs, which is a huge advantage in all kinds of ways. Uh, number two, you get to enter competitions. There's, I've never been to a show that doesn't have a DJ competition, right? So you get to enter a competition. Now, you might not win it. For instance, here at Mobile Beat, there's a guy called Jason Janai, who's a, a partner of Digital DJ Tips. Jason has done the music uh, between, you know, between, uh, the after parties and between the speakers in the main auditoriums, like a thousand people auditorium. I'm actually speaking in there on Thursday. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but Jason does, does the production, the musical production of the show, and he's leaving this year after five years. So they're holding a competition to see who's going to be his replacement. It's the show um, production, head of production and DJ. You know, someone's going to win that, and that's going to change their life. And every show I've ever been to has got some kind of competition that you can enter. It's great publicity for them, and it's great publicity for you. And you might not win it, but that's not the point. You get to enter it, you get to be part of it, you get to meet the other people who've entered it, you get to be involved in the show. And good things can come of that kind of stuff, even if you don't win it. So entering competitions is a great part of these things, and I thoroughly recommend you do. For instance, another show I've been to, a lot of people go in the UK, all competition to, to be the DJ at the entrance. So when everyone's queuing up to go in and enter and leave, there's a DJ there. Uh, and they rotate the people there. But you get a chance to DJ in front of, if you get the slot before the place opens, there could be thousands of people, hundreds of people waiting there. Um, it's a really good thing to enter the competitions that these shows put on. So that's the second thing, entering competitions. We've already covered meeting other DJs. The third thing, a couple of you, uh, you people have touched on it already, you get to see and touch the gear. So we might have DJ stores, we might have music stores. If you're in the US, you might have Guitar Center or Sweetwater and those kind of people. Uh, but you might have stores near you, you might not. But the truth is, at these shows, you get to not only touch and play with and DJ on without anyone pressuring you to get out um, all the new gear, and I mean new, before the shops get it, but also it's not a salesperson there who's telling you about the gear, it's the manufacturer. It's the people directly employed by the manufacturer, usually, who are there to help you, talk you through it, 
And so you get a more quality hands-on experience with all the new equipment at these shows. It's a massive draw of them. One of the biggest shows that I go to is the NAM show, which is just south of here in, in Los Angeles every year. Now, that's a trade-only event, uh, as is Music Messer in Frankfurt. These are trade-only events. You can sometimes get in if you know someone who runs a... Um, who runs a, a music store or something. But uh, anyway, at, at these events, they are mainly gear-based. That's what they're about. You know, you go there to, to meet distributors, to meet dealers, to meet the manufacturers, to see the new gear. This show here, Mobile Beat, is more about education. There's my pass for Mobile Beat. Uh, it's more about education. Um, but they still have a show floor. DJ Expo, another one I go to in Atlantic City over on the East Coast. Again, that's kind of like more of a mix of gear and education. And... The Brighton Music Conference in the United Kingdom is veers more towards education, but they do have a lot of um, the manufacturers there as well. So depending on the show you go to, there's going to be a different blend of these things, but almost definitely there's going to be equipment there for you to play with. It's a great chance to try new stuff. It's a great chance to get hands on with stuff, to see how heavy that controller is that you like and think actually it doesn't weigh anything. I don't like the look at that or actually it's awesome. When I went to the the NAM show in January, really looking forward to seeing the brand new Technics turntable because I love my old Technics turntables. You know, if I hadn't got a chance to actually pick the thing up and look at it and go, I hate to say this, but it doesn't actually look very good. I might have just continued to this day thinking, oh, I can't wait to, to, to get my hands on a pair of those. You know, so getting to touch and play with the gear is a really important part of these shows. So we've already covered meeting other DJs, we've covered entering competitions, and we've covered uh, having a go on the gear, getting to play with the gear. Uh, let's just jump back to the comments box here. Um, hello to Nigel. Hello to Victorious. Um, Hello to uh, to Johnny, who says, what's up, Phil? I'm looking forward to your mobile beat coverage. Yeah, we better get some stuff filmed. I've been so busy learning things. I haven't actually managed to film anything yet. Um, hello to uh, to Ahia, or Aya, who says hello from the uh, Philippines. Uh, hello to... Um, Hello to um, Avinav, uh, who says, I'm unable to understand the subject. I'm not sure what the... Uh, what, uh, what's hard to understand there, but please let us know. Um, so, all right then, let's, uh, let's move on. So we're talking about reasons to come to shows. So uh, a really important reason number four is related to the reason number one, which is meeting other DJs, is building a network. So networks are everything in this game. As I said at the beginning, it's a small world actually in music, especially in your state, town, city, wherever country, you will meet people over and over again. People only work with people that they know and like. And the best way to get to know people and to decide if you, you like people and make them to decide if they like you is to meet them. You can't really do this stuff on social. There's loads of studies saying social media is actually quite bad for your mental health because you're not meeting people one to one. And here's a really good rule of thumb. If you have a little feeling in your tummy that says, I don't want to do this. Like I get it every time I come to a show. When I leave my hotel room on day one, I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to meet all these people. Uh, if you get that feeling, that's the one-to-one -one anticipation nerves. And once you get over that and into the flow of it, it's a lovely feeling when you're meeting people who you can work with in the future. So we're not only talking other DJs, because everyone you meet is a potential help to you and you're a potential help to them. At these shows, you meet everyone. For instance, this is a mobile, mobile DJ-oriented show, wedding DJ-oriented show. So there's people here um, who could give you a job because they run big mobile DJ companies. There's people here who do all the things that surround the game of mobile DJing, you know, dance floors, photo booths, uh, all that kind of stuff. There's people here who make the software that you, that you use. There's people here who've written the books that you've bought about DJing who can give you advice based around those and who can hook up with you. So you end up with coming back from the show with a big pile of business cards, and mine are over there, a big pile of business cards that people give you, can't reach them. Uh, and you can follow up on those. And these people are now, they're now faces to you and they know you. And you've had a coffee with them. You've been out for dinner with them. And you went to the club after the event with them. You know, this is your network now. These are people that you can help and can help you. And that's going to push you on in your DJ. That's going to help you in ways that you just never realize until later down the line. But you've got to get those one-to-one -one meetings with people first. And I'm not talking about like having a full diary of meetings. I do, but that's because I run a business in this area. You can just, it's people you bump into in the corridors. It's people you sit at a table with. They actually have networking events here. So you go in, um, there's one going on right now that I'm missing, unfortunately. But you go in and they've got tables everywhere. And you, it's kind of a bit like speed dating. You get, you get plonked on a table and they give you a topic to talk about. And you, you chat with 10 people on the table. And then you move to another one and another one and another one. And at the end of it, you know loads of other DJs. and You've learned loads of stuff. It's awesome stuff. And depending on the show you go to, they'll have their variations on this stuff. So building a network is a really important 
thing when it comes to uh, coming to shows and you will end up doing that. So another big reason, I said there were five, I've actually got more than that. Another big reason is you gain confidence. So DJing can be quite lonely. DJing can be something that you think you're, you know, we are programmed to think whatever we do, we don't do it quite as well as the next person. But coming to a place like this, you realize that everyone is struggling with the same things and you actually end up really enjoying being a DJ, enjoying what you do, suddenly feeling pride in what you do, sharing stories with other people makes you realize actually you're doing all right. And that when you come across people who are struggling, you actually help, you want to help them. And in helping them, you feel good yourself and you think, oh, actually, you know, I'm not the lowest rung here. I'm not someone who knows nothing. I actually, I managed to help this person and therefore, you know, I'm, I'm obviously going in the right direction in my DJ. For all these reasons, it really helps your confidence as a DJ. One of the things about DJs is that people think we're super confident people. We lead the party. We know what's up. We know what's going on. But actually, I'm sure you'll all agree with me, underneath, we've got the same insecurities, the same nerves, the same confidence about doing what we do as anyone else does. Probably more because we're in public. We've got to perform, right? It's not like a, a desk job where you're sat there and if you're having a bad day, no one notices. You've got to you've got to put on a show and being able to put on a show is difficult. So you gain confidence in all of this. It's a really big part of coming to places like this. So if you've just joined us, we're talking about the the the, the good the good that can come in your DJing from coming to to DJ shows, to DJ conferences, to DJ events uh, like the one I'm at here, Mobile Beat in Las Vegas. Uh, and uh, you can watch the replay of this if you're just joining us because we've already covered four things. Um, so another really big thing uh, about these things is obviously, and um, we've talked about meeting other DJs and networking and so on, but they have educational strands, if you like. They have people, they have speakers. I, as I say, I'm speaking uh, on Thursday uh, at the show. Uh, and they have brilliant people generally they you know they, they know that this is an important thing this is what djs want and so they try very hard to get good speakers and i've seen a couple of absolutely amazing uh, talks here already uh, this is like an auditorium here with a thousand people in it and uh, really inspirational stuff so you're going to get to learn stuff you're literally going to walk out with a bag full of ideas i always carry a pad i'm a bit old school I always carry a pad around with me and i've got literally pages and pages and pages of notes from yesterday believe me you can't get this stuff in a book. You know, it might be in my next book, uh, but um, you can't get this stuff. You know, this is up to the minute stuff. There's people here talking about how to use Instagram stories um, to get bookings for your events. Uh, it's stuff that a year or two ago didn't exist. And believe me, these things take more than a year or two to write. It's absolutely up to the minute stuff. And you want to walk away with loads of ideas from the educational strands, from the keynotes and from the workshops that they build into events like this. Um, and you're going to be ahead of the pack. Because there's here, there's a few thousand DJs, um, but there's, you know, a lot of DJs who aren't here. They don't know. They're not learning the stuff that everyone's sharing here. Um, and I've learned so much. You know, this has been my, um, my, I was chatting to another DJs around my age. We realized that between us, we had 70 years of experience as DJs. And yet I feel humble. I feel like a student here. I'm just keeping my mouth shut and learning. It's such a lovely environment for that stuff. So you're going to learn a lot at shows like this. Um, and finally... You're gonna have fun. It's Vegas. I could open the window, but then it, it blacks me out. I go, um, I go uh, into shadow. So there's Vegas out there. I'm looking out over over the skyline of the city. There's um, there's parties every night after the event. You get to cut loose. You get to hear great DJs. You get to go out. You get to have fun. There's nothing wrong with treating yourself as a DJ. There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I've earned this. I'm gonna go for five days a year to something where I'm gonna cut loose, I'm going to learn, I'm going to party, I'm going to meet people, I'm going to have fun, uh, and I'm going to celebrate my DJing. Uh, it's not all work, and events like this all give you, uh, um, you know, clubs and bars or whatever, or they'll put on their own events or a mixture of the two, and the manufacturers, for instance, Pioneer had a party last night, the manufacturers will put on their parties as well that you can blag tickets to and stuff, so there's an awful lot going on, so you get to see other DJs doing it as well. Uh, as well as seeing the gear and learning stuff and meeting people and networking and feeling part of the community, you actually get to go out on, and see DJs doing this, this thing that we love. So how often do you get to get out to go out in your daily DJ life? Not as often as you would like, I would guess. There's other responsibilities in life and so on. Here is a chance where you do get to, uh, to, to go out and enjoy yourself. So for all these reasons, coming to trade shows is a really, really good thing. And I, to, sorry, I keep calling them trade shows because a lot of the ones I go to are. But this is a public one. You can buy a ticket for this. Uh, BPM show in the UK is a public one. Brighton Music Conference is a public one. ADE in Amsterdam, the Amsterdam dance event is a public one. You've got smaller shows like Super Booth in Berlin. 
which is a, a production oriented one. Uh, and there is going to be stuff on in your town or city. Don't think that just because it's a smaller show, it's not worth going to. In, in a way, they're better because you really get to know everyone at them. Uh, and definitely do look, look into, into shows in your area because I know you're going to love them. Please share any shows that you enjoy in the comments uh, and we will uh, we'll, we'll add them to our list to cover in the future. That'd be awesome. Uh, and I want to just give a few more uh, shout outs to people who are, um, who are um, jumping in on the thread here before we go. Uh, so hello to uh, Sean who says, is there an itinerary available for upcoming DJ shows and events? It's a good question. And uh, I don't know of one, uh, but you could just search in Google with your your country and the word DJ show in your language, and uh, I'm sure they'll come up there. Um, so hello to DJ Mark One. Uh, hello to uh, to um, Mark, who says, "Oh, the highs and the highs and super lows of Vegas." Yeah, my team said to me, "Your hotel room doesn't look much like Hangover." Uh, it looks very um, ordered and clean. Yes, that's because I am ordered and clean. Um, um, so it's kind of hard going to DJ shows from Norway, but I'd love to go someday, says Eric. Yeah, I know what you mean, Eric, but it's kind of hard coming here from Gibraltar. 26 hours was a killer, I'm not going to lie. Um, luckily, I downloaded loads of stuff off Netflix for my journey. Uh, hi to Stephen Joey. Uh, Ali says, I used to write for a bunch of industry-recognized dance music mags, and it was great to talk to labels, DJs, and producers. Uh, it was very, very valuable uh, attending shows. Yeah, um, I, and that's just reflecting what I'm saying uh, there as well. All right, um, guys and girls, hi to Reno in Wisconsin, in Wisconsin, who says, I love that you bring us live updates of the shows that we can't make it to. I'll try and do you some stuff from the show floor as well. The internet's really dodgy down there, so I've come back to my hotel room. But I will try and do that for you. Um, uh, awesome. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in today. We've been covering the five reasons why it's a good idea to come to a DJ show. I ended up giving you about eight, but hey, that's the way it goes. Uh, I'm at Mobile Beat in Las Vegas, so um, I'll be giving you more coverage from Mobile Beat uh, over the coming days here. So keep an eye on our Instagram, especially, and our other channels as well. But meanwhile, from Phil in Vegas, get good, get out there, make the moments, and I'll be seeing you again really soon.